So let's talk about village activation range. So the setup that I have here, the leaves are because I'm going to be messing with bad omen. If we look in here, we've got the villager with its bed. If we look at my coordinates, the pillow is at zero, zero. So I've done the calculations based on that. The shroom lights are at 32 blocks out from there. And the sea lanterns are 64 blocks. And that goes right the way around. So if I, this is in peaceful mode, so it's not going to spawn. But if I drink an ominous potion, so I get the bad omen effect. But until I go into the village itself, which this block here, this 32 out, that is where the village is. If I cross over here, watch on the right hand side, you'll see that it changes. As soon as I cross this boundary, there we go. So now I've got Raid Omen. And just to show you that it's a square and not taxi cab distance. Let's drink this, nothing over here. Soon as I hit 32 blocks out, bang, immediately. And you notice that I am not over the halfway. So some things are calculated fractionally. This is, I'm now, I'm not in the village. Now I'm in the village. So this is 32 blocks, not including the pillow of the bed. So if we come over here, notice this is 64, well, 65 blocks from the pillow. I'm just going to say 64 blocks from the pillow because the pillow itself is included. So technically it's 65 blocks, including the pillow, but for ease, I'm just going to say 64 blocks out. And when you put this villager, he's outside the village. If we put this bed here, the villager is not going to connect to it. If we put this bed inside the village, this village is not going to connect to it either. Why? Because we're not inside the village activation range. That's what happens. We move over and bang, connects. Break that. The village boundary is still here. But what if we put a villager in here? So this villager is inside the village activation range. Is it going to connect? No. How about now? Also no, until we cross over the boundary because now we're activating this village. Okay, what happens if we drink the ominous potion here? We're not inside the village yet, even though we're this close to the bed where we have to go. Now we're inside the village. What's happened is this village has now been stretched. So essentially this has moved all the way to being in line with this pillow. So now if we put another villager down here and we should now, even though we're not across here, we should now be in the village activation range because it's based on the edge. And it is. If we fly over here, we should still see that this is the edge. So if I drink the ominous potion, I get bad omen here. And when I step over this line, should get Raid Omen when I hit this line. And I do. All we've done is expanded this out to this line. So this is the new village boundary, the stretched boundary. Kind of break it through there just to show you. So now the village boundary is all around here. And it comes out to here. So the new village activation range is going to be based on this line. The centers move 15 blocks this way, but the edges move 30. So if we put a villager in here, we're going to be inside the village activation range now. And in fact, we are. And because we're in Sim 4, the village activation range is 32 blocks from the edge because it's eight times simulation distance. If we were on Sim 6, it would be 48 blocks from the edge. So for Sim 4, let's go 32 blocks from where we are. So we've come 32 blocks out. This should be the new village activation boundary. So let's set up the same experiment. So we put a villager in there, same as we did before, bed over here. And so he hasn't connected. As soon as we cross this line, this villager is going to be able to connect because we will then be in the new activation range. And in fact, he does. And so now this edge moves out to the pillow of this bed. And the activation range goes another 32 blocks out there. We're stretching the village. To wrap this up, there's a question about whether the activation range is either cuboid or taxi cab. If it's cuboid, it will follow the path that the sea lanterns take. If it's taxi cab, then it will follow roughly, basically follow the blue line. So if we wanna know for sure, let's do the old experiment with the glass and the villager. Sorry, put the bed down. Is the villager gonna connect? No, 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 because it's not in range and then as soon as we cross this line it connects so that answers the question village activation is a cuboid however 
when it comes to iron farms, there's going to be chunk loading issues. So if you're wanting to use the corners, if we turn on this pack real quick, it'll show us a simulation four if we're in that chunk. See, not all the iron farm spawning areas are going to be loaded. So some of the golems could potentially spawn in unloaded chunks, which is going to throw everything off. So if you're using village activation range for iron farming, and all that then you need to be aware of where your chunk borders are but the actual village activation range is along here it's a cuboid goes all the way out to the corners and this distance is eight times the simulation distance in simulation four it is 32 and then simulation six it's going to be further out at 48 blocks from the edge remember it's from the edge it's not from the center so i hope this clears up that village activation range is based on the edge of the village and not on the center